We have to do research that makes a difference in improving this society. We need to really look at ourselves as a continent and how we can make ourselves grow. And one of the ways of doing so is to focus on research and to refocus on Africa. We're positioned in a very good place to draw on problem-solving research that will actually have a contribution to theoretical thinking globally, not only here. When it came to selecting themes for our research strategy, we looked at two questions. What matters most to society, to the people of South Africa, and to the contribution we can make to the advancement of humanity globally? Research communities are not constrained by borders. So the research that you do needs to be relevant to people you'd like to work with, partners, collaborators, and international funders too. So you must make sure that the work that you're doing is relevant and is recognized as being excellent. The second question we looked at is where do we have expertise? And based on the answers to those two questions, we've selected a number of institutional research themes. I don't think it's possible to live in the country and not be affected by what is going on around us. South Africa is sitting in an energy crisis and we need to find innovative ways to address these issues. So as a result, you're solving real problems in the real world. Our responsibility is food production. It is to keep the nation healthy. We want diseases to be managed by the farmer and diseases that can be managed in a cost-effective manner for a virologist to be in virus discovery at the moment, which is one of our major uh, focus points, is really to be in the forefront of research internationally. We've got top flight infrastructure that is capable of doing what everyone else in the USA or in Europe or Asia can do. We have similar challenges across Africa and I think coming together to share ideas to really see how we work things out in different places I think that's the way forward really. Because so much of African thought and African belief systems were eroded and destroyed by colonialism the first step is to just uncover what we think about things and then the second thing is that once you've uncovered it find some way of systematizing it as knowledge that can be applied to different contexts that can be used by people over and over and over again to address some of the key challenges that we face as Africans. The university supports research that's complex and nuanced and brings together a variety of, of disciplines and faculties. Research is only meaningful when we come together in teams, when we listen to each other, when we brainstorm, when we collaborate, and also when we learn about new things through a different disciplinary lens. The future of science and industry in this country is dependent on having very well-trained postgraduate students. Pretoria does this particularly well. We have, across the whole, campus a range of the best researchers in the country. I wanted to get involved in stem cell research and Prof Pepe is a well-known and renowned researcher in the field of stem cells so that's a bit of a plus for me to come here and join this group. We're very lucky to have one of the best labs at the University of Pretoria and I like coming here every single day and being able to work on like the front top edge of the field science. There is no question that the University of Pretoria is on the cutting edge of research. If you look at our position nationally, we are amongst the top five universities in the country. We also do very well with our international partnerships and with our industrial partnerships. I think the rankings are most important for our stakeholders. They are one of the measures that people use to judge for themselves the quality of the university and its standing nationally and internationally. We do research that matters.